Hey, welcome to my workshop. I'm Andrew Malacy. A little while ago, I bought this cheap saw off the internet. It's Deer brand. It's a good saw overall. You can find it on woodcraft.com or on eBay. Woodcraft calls it a straight back saw, and it's also known as a gent saw. I got mine for about 20 bucks after shipping, and as you can see here on the Woodcraft website, it's about 18 bucks, and you'll probably have to pay for the shipping too. It works fine, but I've never been that great at using them. Maybe I should practice more. But in any case, I thought, well, maybe I could turn it into something and maybe, who knows, maybe become something I really love to, to go to. It could be my go-to saw. So before I actually go out and buy a nice new high quality saw or something like that, I'm going to try and convert this to a traditional, traditional style handle uh, for a dovetail saw. It's about 10 inches long, the, the saw plate is. It's got a nice stiff back on it. And I found some plans off Blackburn Tools website for free. I'll put the link in the description. Anyways, I'm gonna make a new handle for this and that's about it. I'll chop the back right there, chop the tang off of it basically. And I'll have to modify the saw plate by cutting it a little bit on the diagonal. But it's even in the plans, the way the saw plate has to be. So that's what I'm gonna do. Here's a fair warning, it's gonna be a lot of sped up video. So if you just wanna to skip to the end result, just go ahead and jump to minute 15, 30 or so. I'll be making some comments along the way in the video, but basically what I did is I glued the plans on a really flat piece of hardwood, which is walnut. I marked out all the holes I had to drill, then I tried to accurately transfer some of the smaller marks for the handle uh, screws to the back side, and then just made sure I drilled really straight holes, rough cut it out on the bandsaw, and refined it by hand with a file and chisel, etc. It took me a lot of time to actually hang it really accurately, but in the end, it turned out really well. And I'm not going to lie, I actually sort of hung on to it and couldn't put it down for the whole rest of the day after it was finished. I definitely recommend you try this if you have an old saw that you're not using and you're willing to cut up and modify a little bit. It really doesn't cost you anything because if you end up not liking the handle, you can use it if it's usable or just try it again. In my case, I bought this gent saw because I thought it would help me do better dovetails but I just didn't like it, and so it sat there for about a year and a half without being used. Now I can honestly see myself using it. I want to use it, and I feel extremely proud of it. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you at the end.
A quick little intermission here while I'm sawing the curve for the to hang the saw plates in the saw handle. As you just saw there, I cut the basic shape of the saw. I we have a saw handle that more or less fun, that's more or less functional at this point. But we want to cut the curve so that uh, for the saw plate now before we invest too much time in it. If you go and watch the episode of the Woodwright shop that I've linked in the description here you'll see that they recommend the same thing on that episode too because we don't want to spend hours and hours making the saw handle look beautiful and then we end up hanging it crooked or wrong or break it. So we're gonna, we have very minimal investment in it right now, 30 minutes or so. And uh, now we're gonna cut the kerf to hang the saw plates. And then once that's perfect and we've verified everything looks good, then we're gonna go ahead and shape the handle and make it look good. Make sense? That, look at that, that's nice. The dilemma I'm running into is that this thing, the back on this is just too thin, so I don't have any small enough, any tool small enough to really deal with it. All right, once we hang the saw on the handle, we're gonna transfer the holes. You gotta make sure you got an even, you gotta make sure it's straight, and you gotta make sure you got an even reveal here at the top. Are you satisfied? Look down it. See what you think. I'm good with that. So we're going to transfer the holes by taking a nail or something and just popping it in there, making some marks, and then we're going to go ahead with drilling through the saw plate and then boring out the holes a little bit more. If you can't tell, I am one happy camper. I mean, 
Let's look at the back side. That is sick. I can't even take it. All right, I'm going to tighten it up a little bit more here, and uh, then we're going to give it a test cut, see how it cuts. Okay.
And here's the finished product. I am so excited about this. It went from being a saw that I hardly used, I felt like I could never get accuracy with. Now I've got this pistol grip style handle that I made by myself out of walnut and it looks so sharp. And then once I went ahead and sharpened the teeth and reset them, I just love this saw. Honestly, I'm gonna give myself a few projects with it and see if I even care about buying another saw because I just love it. And that's it. I hope it's been enjoyable and it's been useful and I'll see you around for the next one.